Okay, so we're going to keep continuing working with my math lab. I want you to see how to do one of these problems. This is a, I'm going to get it wrong first. Hold on. There we go. My computer's just being a little bit possessed. I'm going to check answer. Oops, no, didn't get it correct. Let's see if I get it wrong again. And then they're going to give me the right answer, right? Okay, so then this is one thing that's kind of annoying about my math lab. It makes you do the rest of the problem before you can get a new one, right? So you have to check your answers all the way along, right? Now, see, I got two parts of it wrong and one part of it right. So see, it gave me a check mark and, a, and, a, and an X mark. So I got some of it right, some of it wrong. And again, to do it again, I just click similar exercise and away we go, okay? You have to check each part individually. There we go. It would look like this one. There we go. One other side note, um, to make this bigger, do you see that little magnifying glass? If you click on that, you can make your graphs bigger. You can click maximize, medium, normal, right? You can close it. It gives you a better picture. So if you have a hard time seeing that one, try maximizing it and making it bigger. And that might help. Okay. Um, another thing, you can do original size. See, there's the original size of the problem. Or you can make it fit to screen. That's this little button right here. Okay. All right, and then we've seen some multiple choice. Let's go to six because this one has some graphing. And again, what we just saw with um, what we were graphing on the other one will come in handy. So you can click the magnifying glass here. You can click to enlarge here either way. In general, if you're graphing, you probably want a pretty big screen. But I won't want it to take up the whole space because then I can't see the original problem that I was given. If you're graphing a line, which I am in this case, I would click the little line tool right here, which is the most common one you'll use in a class. And then I'm, as I'm moving my mouse, you can see it, it kind of hops along on the grid. So I have to figure out where the y-intercept would be, which is down here. And then the slope was up one over one. Click. There. And so it gave me a line. Now if I don't think that's right, I can press clear. And I'll say, are you sure you want to? And I'll say, yep. It'll clear the whole thing. So you can do that. Although I'm pretty sure I was right. I'm doing it in my head. I can click save. And then now I check the answer. And I did it right. There we go. Okay, so that's how to use the graphing tool. Let's get to a different problem. Actually, I'm going to go back here. Because I want to show you something else. I want to show you a few more of these palettes. Now, um, in, excuse me, a few more of these symbols in the symbol palette. Excuse me. So if you want a mixed number fraction, you could click on that, this one, that's mixed number. And you can type two and three fourths. It's not correct here, but you know, there. That would be a mixed number. Um, if you need a power, that's a really common one. So like X, oopsie, here, X, click the power button, squared, right? That's how to do that. If you click on this guy right here, this little arrow, it'll undo it all, okay? Um, what about the square root? Suppose the answer is the square root of 7. That's how to do the square root, that little symbol right there. Um, in this particular case, it's actually, oh, let me go to this one. This is an nth root. So if you had like the third root of y or something like that, that's how you would do that with that symbol. Um, the bottom one, I just don't see any beginning algebra students using that. Maybe in a pre-calc class. So you would type, you know, like y1 or something like that. Okay, this particular problem needs this guy right here, which is an ordered pair. So the answer for this one, actually I don't know it, but I'm just going to take a guess, is 2, 0. I have no idea. Oh, I did it right. Cool. Let me just click on the more so you can see. There's actually more in here, um, even. There's all the basic math operators, add, subtract, multiply, divide. There are these less than or equal twos. There's the fraction ones. The, there's the superscript, which is the power. And there are some symbols down here that you could use in higher level classes like 140 and 151 and so on, like E or infinity, that kind of thing. Actually, infinity you use in 131. Okay? So that's how to get more symbols, and you can just close it with the close button. All right, so we've seen the symbol palette, and we've seen how to do some graphing. Um, next time, we might be heading towards these help menu items.